Hola, ¿cómo estás? All right, that was a little weird, I'm not going to lie, but we'll, we'll go with it. What's going on, guys? Long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about and reflecting on the channel and also talking about the future of the channel, which I normally always do. So, yeah. So let's talk about what has happened with uh, the channel. And first and foremost, I just want to thank everybody that has supported the channel up until this point. We reached 150,000 subscribers the other day, and I'm just blown away with the amount of people that have shown so much support in the last couple of years, especially during this time where a lot of people are not having the greatest of time and they have to go to the internet and uh, trying to look for some refuge, for some happiness, for some you know, a little bit of entertainment to relieve them of the stresses of the world. And I'm glad that I'm one of those people that is able to provide that stress relief. So I'm gonna be trying my best to continue relieving you of stress. <laughs> that sounded a little weird, but we'll go with it. So yeah, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It's been an astronomical amount of support that has been uh, going into all my channels, uh, the U new YouTube channels, the Twitch channel, everything. Thank you so much, everybody. Now, on to business. Let's talk about what has happened in 2021 and kind of reflect on it. Uh, one, I went full time, so I no longer have a job that's not me sitting here and playing video games and talking with you guys and making videos and just being a monkey overall. And that has been a big step for me because I am a very, you know, pretty particular person when it comes to the future. I always like to think ahead and whenever there's no clarity or there's no, if I don't prepare enough for what's to come, then I get really anxious and I get really nervous and it prevents me from moving on to other things. And I'm left in this like bubble and I was able to take the leap and pop that bubble and I was able to leave it. And here I am <laughs> uh, working in my office. That's full of waifus. So yeah, and none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for you guys. So once again, thank you so much. Uh, another thing, I opened up two other channels. I opened up a VOD channel for my Twitch VODs. I opened up a Clips channel slash secondary channel where I upload ch content that doesn't normally go on this channel and I upload it to the second channel. So it's like a hybrid of like b deleted scenes type content you know, like extra content, as well as clips and shorts and highlights from the Twitch. Twitch highlights, Twitch clips, and extra content. I, yeah, that, that's a better way to describe it. It's been awesome, thank you so much. If you guys haven't subscribed to those channels, I highly suggest you do so, especially the VOD channel, because I'm gonna be uploading all of my different playthroughs of the bucket list games I did in 2021. I did Ninja Guy in Black already, I'm gonna be uploading Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and Metal Gear Solid 3 and Dad of War and Last of Us. All those games are going to be uploaded in a in a in like a playlist where you can go through it and it'll be nice. I also reached 60,000 followers on Twitch. That is incredible. I could not believe that that is a thing. But I guess I have 60,000 people following me on Twitch, which is incredible. Granted, most of those are probably bots from all the hate raids. But I appreciate them nonetheless. I cosplayed for the very first time, twice or three times or something like that. I cosplayed as Corone. Corone uh, actually noticed my content. Also, a bunch of other VTubers have noticed my content as well. It's been a real crazy year when it comes to my content. And one unexpected thing was when Kiryu Koko graduated, a whole bunch of people flocked to my Twitch stream. And it was really weird. I went from like having 300 viewers to having like almost 2,200 viewers just, be just so they can get my reaction to the graduation of Kiryu Koko. That was a weird little highlight of my year. Just to, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, of course, Kiri Koko graduating is not a highlight, but the fact that so many people actually gave a rat's ass about my feelings on Kiryu Koko graduating was kind of like an eye-opening experience. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, by the way, where so many people flocked to me as soon as they heard the news drop just to get my visceral reaction. And 
of course if you guys were there you guys know what my reaction was or watch the video but anyways other than that i collabed with so many different people i met some wonderful people and it's been a wild ride in 2021 now it's on to what's happening next what's gonna happen to my content what's gonna happen to my channels what's the plans and i guess i should start with the youtube channel first at least the main one for the most part because the clips channel and the vods channel are pretty self-explanatory as to what i'm going to be doing but the main channel what's mainly happening to it is nothing it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing i'm going to be uploading things that i do on twitch edit them for you to watch them on youtube and uh, call it good content i guess still going to be doing you laugh you loses vtuber type content reactions gameplay miscellaneous gameplay collabs all that stuff i'm gonna be doing and definitely fighting games so i was thinking long and hard about my fighting game content and what i should be doing and i come to realize that not a lot of people are here for my fighting game content at least not anymore it used to be like that but not anymore so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm going to be approaching fighting game content a little bit differently because i still want to upload fighting game content it's my favorite genre of video games and i still love competing in them i still love playing them ranking up leveling up getting better that whole progress bar is one of my favorite things to do in my spare time or even in my working time so i'm gonna be playing fighting games still lots of fighting games dnf is coming out melty blood got aoko so I'm, I'm playing a lot of aoko now actually i just haven't uploaded any videos or did any streams on them and that's going to be changing very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that the league of legends fighting game is going to be kind of a, a thing a big thing so i want to be there for that also blaze blue rollback blaze blue having rollback it feels like it's 2016 2017 again where everybody's playing the game and uh, trying to get better it's just been really fun to see everything on my timeline be blaze blue again it's just really fun and with that i want to keep uploading more blaze blue content primarily gameplay videos of me getting better at the game and trying to learn new characters etc etc because I used to rely on fighting game content to keep my channel afloat, but now that I have other type of content and I branched out, whoops, sorry about that. I branched out and I have experimented with other types of content that is a little bit more successful. I can basically play fighting games not to get big, not to see the numbers go up as soon as I upload a video. I can basically focus on fighting games the way I used to when I first started this channel, which was essentially to document my progress in a fighting game, to kind of uh, have a look back as to like, oh, that's how I used to be, but here I am now. That's kind of like the main reason I started doing it. Actually, what the reason I started to do all this in the first place. I went through my channel and I made a bunch of playlists of my old UMVC3 videos, my old Street Fighter 4 videos, my old Third Strike videos, my old fighting game content. And I'm just like, man, dude, I just want to do this. So yeah, fighting game content is still going to be very prevalent in this channel. Whether or not it does well, it doesn't really matter to me. Of course, I'll be very happy if a lot of people started to check it out and a lot more people are interested in the content but i'm pretty much changing my entire mindset as to how i'm doing fighting games this year and because i'm doing this is basically goes against everything i've ever learned about youtube by the way this if you have a specific type of content that works stick with it but i'm trying to go against it because i'm so passionate about fighting games i'm going with my gut even if it doesn't make sense and i also want to try to incorporate everything together for example do a collab stream with vtubers or with other people that even aren't vtubers and play fighting games with them i think that'd be super sweet so yeah that's uh that part i was thinking about now on to the twitch channel the twitch channel i'm pretty much going to be tackling it the way that i wanted to tackle last year is basically whatever kind of content comes to mind i do it i don't really want to plan around it i just want to do it and whatever happens happens and if it comes out hilarious great if it comes out cringe great if it comes out bad Great. To put it in simpler terms, my Twitch channel is going to be do now, think later. That's uh, how I'm going to be approaching it. And then hopefully I can make something out of it and post it to the YouTube channels. To give you kind of an idea as to what I'm thinking, cooking streams, co-op, playthroughs, collab streams, streams outside of this room, etc, etc. It's just going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, unpredictable is what I'm going for. And if people want to tag along, hell yeah, dude join in but be sure to buy merch before you do that just saying and some final small things before i end the video thinking about doing a patreon very soon so that's gonna be good i'm gonna be experimenting a little bit more on tiktok as well because that 
that platform is popping off and i'd like to make some content for tiktok as well hate it or love it content creators gotta get on that exposure train and lastly i wanted to mention that i'm going to be working on myself i'm going to be working on of course my physical health and my mental health trying to be as healthy as i can uh trying to feel good and uh trying to do this for as long as i can because this has been an experience that i'll never forget and i don't want to ever end and to do that i need to be able to take care of myself one and two try to get those creative juices going and that can't happen unless you are healthy so i'm gonna try and work on myself a lot this year mental mentally and physically anyways that about wraps it up i appreciate you guys clicking on the video you guys should subscribe to the channel why because it's free and in this economy that sounds like a pretty good deal comment on the comment section down below whatever you guys want to comment i don't really care if you want to say hi you want to say i suck you want to say el gordito lindo whatever you guys want to say go for it man i'm, I'm down raise this this video's interaction up please and speaking of raising interactions like the video too really helps out all right i will see you guys in the next video which will probably be tomorrow bye bye